We'll start with our warm up. All right, here we go. Welcome to HIT 30 Minutes This Together today. Uh, you will need weights handy for this workout. We'll alternate between a strength move and a cardio move. Uh, the work interval will be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, like your true Tabata. Get started in that little jog here or march in place. If you're new to exercise, please always consult your physician before starting. If a move does not serve you, please discontinue it and give another, I'll give you another option and you do what works best for you. Open and close those arms. We're just stretching out the chest here, squeezing the back muscles. There you go. Inhaling through the nose, out to that mouth. Now just take those arms out to the side and just work those arm circles here, we'll warming up the shoulders. One direction. And then I invite you to switch it opposite direction. Again, jog, march, whatever's calling out to you. From here, you're gonna reach your arms overhead, pull your knees into your chest, into that knee, a little march here. It can be a hop. You can really emphasize pulling the elbows down to your side. That'll wake up those back muscles a bit further. We're heading to butt kicks next. Four, three, two, butt kicks. Right here. Heel suit. This is your jogging option. You can also take your step tap option here. Contracting those hamstrings. A few more. Jumping jacks. Four, three, two, let's jack. Jack, jack. Arms all the way overhead, all the way down to your side. You got that step tap option here. Good. Getting that blood flowing. A few more here. We go into body weight squats next. Four, three, two, one. Step your head, feet hip width distance apart. We sit back and stand. Inhale, exhale, lift. Practice that really nice squat form right here off the bat before we add weight to it. That's it. Good, give me two more on that last one right here. Hold, hold it here in that squat. Lift the heels. Slight little lift of the heels. Your knees are over your ankles. You sit that butt back. Time under tension. Two, give me one more. Good, come up to stand. Take that reverse lunge and to center. Reverse lunge, center. Again, we'll have some reverse lunges, some forward lunges. So we wanna make sure that form is good right off the bat. One more each side. Take your original foot back. We'll come all the way down. Press your hips down. Take your hip flexor stretch. You can even twist towards the bent knee if you'd like. Good. Bring it here. Bring that back leg in. Just stretch out that hamstring real quick. Good. Bend into your knee. Step it together. Other leg comes back. Hip flexor stretch. Hips down. Take that twist if you like. Maybe shift forward and back. Good, hamstring stretch. From here, hands plant, step it back to plank. Take it to downward dog, back to plank. Down dog, back to plank, last one. Walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Roll it on up, and a little boxer shuffle here. Awesome, okay. From here, your first move, you're gonna take a weight. You can also hold two weights if you'd like. Time under tension, okay? You're gonna do that squat walk, forward and back, okay? You're gonna do that, and then you're gonna alternate that with a burpee, squat hop two times. So what that looks like is hands plant, hop back, hop in, double hop, jump soft landing, back to your burpee. Remember, you can always stay elevated here, and then you do your little double hop, jump or calf raise. 20 seconds is your work interval. Let's have some fun. You're gonna grab that weight, squat, walk, prepare. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, walk forward. Couple of, you can do two times, four, whatever feels good to you. You're keeping that time under tension. Chest stays lifted. Hold that weight or two weights, depending on what you're looking for. Hang on. Three, two, one, rest. Good, these will add up. So now you got your burpee, two little hops into a jump, okay? Two, one, hands plant, hop or step back, hop in, double little hop, to a jump, soft landing, hands and hop or step back, hop in, hop, hop, 
jump. Good. Or right, back, back, in, in. Hop, hop, or calf raise. Last one. Hop, hop, jump. Nice job. All right, back to your walk. With that weight, you can also do body weight, right? What works for you? And let's go. Walk it forward. I go a little bit wider with my legs, okay? So again, whatever feels good for your gait, meaning just your hips and all that, please do that. Woo! That adds up. Breathe. Two, one, rest. Way to finish that full interval. Remember, we're working for 20 seconds. Let's make the most of it. Back to your burpee with a double hop. Ready? Here we go. Hands plant. Hop or step back. Hop in. Double hop. Jump. Soft landing. Should be able to hear you land, right? Hop, hop. Jump. Or you got your lunge, lunge. Double hop. Jump. Two, one. Rest. You're halfway. Doing great. When you go to pick up that weight, please always bend into your knees to do so. Proper form. Prepare. Let's go. Walk it. And then take it back. There you go. Your knees still over your ankle, right? You're dropping that butt. Stay in it. Yes, you can. Almost there. Two. One. Rest. All right, weight down, back to burpee, okay? If you want to just skip the burpee and do the little double hop into a jump, you know it's an option. Here we go. Hands flat when you hop back to your plank, shoulders over the wrist. Light bum pulls the spine. Soft landing and jump. All the way. Keep your chest lifted. A few more seconds. Two, one, rest. One more piece. All right. Bend to your knees. Pick up that weight. Let's make it count. Here we go. Walk it forward. Get low, get low. Breathe, you're strong. 10 seconds to go. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Hang on. Keep that chest lifted. Rest. Nice job. All right, 20 seconds right here, and then you get your full recovery. You with me? Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hands flat, hop back, hop in, double hop, jump. Can you jump higher this time? Show you what you made of. Put that effort in. Hop, hop, jump or calf raise. Two, one. Gotta finish it. There you go. All right, recover. Grab water. Sip it. Okay, next one. For your strength, couple of options. First one, bear crawl. So you're hovering your knees, hips level. It's pretty tough, right? So row, row, hop back or step back, plank row. You just alternate between those two. If bear doesn't serve you, you can row on tabletop. Step it back to a knee plank or to your toes, okay? And then your cardio is gonna be a knee, knee, jack. So it's a combo. Okay, let's prepare. On that mat, shoulders over this. Let's get to work. Bear row, bear row, walk it back or step it back, plank row. You really gotta keep those hips level. So think about you have headlights on your hips. They should be lighting up the floor beneath you, not a side wall. Two, one, rest. Good. All right, come on up. So it's like a skip, skip, jack, okay? Or you can do like a knee drive, knee drive. Here we go. Skip, skip, jack. Skip, skip, jack. So I go right into that knee drive from the jack. So from different angles, skip, skip, jack, skip. Skip, jack, knee, knee, jack, finish it, knee, knee, jack. All right, those are two moves. You get three more rounds a piece. Come on down. If plank rows serve you better and you want to stick to that in the full 20 seconds, you totally can do that. All right, hover those knees for the first one. 
Zebra hop back, row, row. Turn off that chest. Please do not hang that head or that neck, right? It's an extension of your spine. Be proud of the work you're putting in here. Finish it. Rest. Good. Really great core stability work there. Okay, prepare. Skip, skip, jack. Let's go. Knee, knee, jack. Knee, knee, jack. Yep, use your arms here. Could you drive those knees a little bit higher this round? Let me show you the tap option. You can tap out. March and tap. Yes, and rest. Halfway, back to it. Prepare, shoulders right over the wrist, belly button pulse the spine. Let's go, let's start with the plank this time. Walk it into bear crawl. Exhale with effort. Hips level, 10 seconds. It's quick. All the way, two, one, rest. Woo, building that heat. All right, giving 20 seconds of your best effort. Knee, knee, jack. Let's go. Knee, knee, jack. Knee, knee, jack. Yep. Just like that. Could you push that pace? All the way. Knee, knee, jack. Knee, knee, jack. Final seconds. Keep going to us. Stop. Stop. Nice job. All right. Back to it, one more piece. I'm gonna go from a different angle here. Hover those knees in that bear crawl. Just a few inches, that makes it really hard. You can hop in and hop out versus stopping. You can maybe get a couple more reps in that way. Pull, pull. Work that posture muscles. Upper back, finish, nice job. Woo. All right, knee, knee, jack, let's finish it. Right from here, you get that recovery. Go, knee, knee, jack, or step, 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 tap, knee, knee, step, tap. See that difference? Choose the option that suits you today. Knee, knee, jack. All the way, two, one, rest. All right, recover, third block. We have five blocks to get through, okay? Next one, chest press with the glute bridge. I'm gonna add in a march option. Doesn't mean you have to do it, okay? So you're here, moderate weight. You can lift the hips as you press, drive, drive, bring them down, press up, or you can keep the glutes lifted the entire time, put the chest press in there and do the march. If the march doesn't serve you, doesn't mean you have to do it. Next one, another burpee variation. You're gonna be here, hop back, hop in, curl. Okay, you can do two curls too. Come to your back, let's work. So we press up, drive the knee, drive the knee, either tap the glutes down with the arms coming down or keep those glutes lifted the entire time. It is 20 seconds, so it's a short interval. See what works best for you. Down. Up and rest. I'll give you the choice if you want to do four in a row. So stay on your back. You certainly can do that. Okay, I'm going to alternate the half burpees here. Let's go. Hop in, curl. Hopper step back. Hop in, curl. Again, if you want to do two curls, curl, curl, you can do that. Keep your chest lifted during that, okay? A few more seconds. Two, one, rest. Okay, back to your chest press. The only reason why I would do all in a row is if you have your heart rate spikes a lot and then you have to be on your back. Not always ideal. So, all right, here we go. Press up. Knee drive. Knee drive. I'm going to keep my glutes lifted this entire time. Work the chest press with the knee drive. Now, it's hard when you don't have your arms at your side working the knee drive. So, if you're having a hard time, Keeping the hips level, you can take that part out and just work the chest press. Rest. All right, back to your burpee. Half burpee bicep curl. Prepare. Here we go. 
Hop it in, drop your butt, curl. So back, back, in, in, curl. There you go. More work on those thighs and glutes. Stay with it, upper body with the uh, bicep curl, rest. We're halfway, prepare on your back for your chest press. Two, one, here we go. Press up, knee, knee, inhale, lower, exhale, press. Knee, knee. When you're in the bridge, really press those heels to that floor, feel those hamstrings kick on. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Knee, knee, and rest. Awesome, okay. Back to your half burpee, bicep curls, adjust as necessary. You could use one weight too, that's always an option. Here we go. Hop in, curl, I'm gonna do two curls this round. Feel free to play with that. Yep, get into those hips, those hip flexors. So I'm gonna stretch those out, hang on. Two, one, rest, awesome. One more piece. Maybe you up your weight. Okay, maybe you just try something a little bit different to get more of that workout. Let's go. Press up, knee, knee. When you're driving those knees, another reason or how you can assess if you should be taking that is if you can keep your hips level as you do that. So remember those headlights on your hips, if your hip drop, the light will be shining to the sidewall. We went on up to the ceiling. Rest. Awesome. Final one. Let's get those curls in. You could also do kneeling bicep curls if you do not prefer the half burpee. I'll throw that option to you. All right. Your recovery weights for you in just about 10 seconds right here. Finish it. You're so capable of hard things. Let's go. Two, one, done. Woo, all right. Hydrate. How you doing? You can give me an emoji if you'd like. Or I'll just anticipate that you're doing awesome. Okay, here's where we get to some single arm unilateral work, which also works core. So, one weight, it is a single arm Arnold press. So it starts at your shoulder or your chest, your palm faces you, press overhead. You're going to forward lunge, okay? If you're not comfortable with the forward lunge to make sure the knee is over the ankle, you can do a reverse lunge with the same leg, okay? Let's start there. I'll let you know what that fourth move is. Here we go. Arnold press. The, uh, the leg of the arm that's working is the one that steps forward. Arnold press, step forward, back and in. Good. We are gonna do this one four in a row, just so we keep track of what side we're on. Rest, okay. Now I kinda did that as I was stepping, but you can do Arnold press first, step forward. Stay with that same arm and leg. Here we go, Arnold press, step forward, bring it back into your starting position. Yes. Make sure that knee is over the ankle if you're taking the forward lunge option. Good. So you see how I'm rotating that as I press? You can do press first. Press. All right, switch sides. Switch arms. This leg will be going forward or reverse, depending on what you're, what you're comfortable with. All right, let's go. Arnold press. Step it forward, knee over the ankle, reset. Arnold press first. This is a lot of shoulder stabilization to make sure that your wrist stays over your shoulder. So right here, then you gotta hold that as you lunge forward, okay? Or you can do it all in one fluid motion and rest. Good, you got one more set on that. Then we're gonna go to dumbbell swings. It's a new move, okay? So I'll try to give you time to do it. Here we go. Press overhead. I might pause it just so that I can show you guys. So you get the most out of your 20 seconds. Good, stay in it. Back in, or press, lunge, and rest. Good, I'm just gonna pause my timer for a second. Okay, so you have two weights. 
rack them at your shoulders to start, okay? You're here, three dumbbell swings. On the third one right here, you rack it back to your shoulders, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. You won't get a ton in in 20 seconds. That's all right, we got four rounds to do it. So let's go with that. Seven seconds to go time, rack it. If you prefer just to go with the dumbbell swings and forget the lunges, you can do that. Ready, here we go. Swing three times. It's not a squat. This time, bring it to your shoulders, rack, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, do it again. Swing, three, two, rack it, lunge, and lunge, and swing, rest. When you always rest, either come back to the rack or slow your motion down, don't do it when your weights are out in front of you, okay? You have to check that low back. Here we go. Swing it, three, two, rack, lunge, lunge, again. Swing, I have a slight bend in my knees, it's a hip hinge. Rack it here, lunge, lunge, and rest. Good, so we get about two in, all right? Or again, just stay with the swings. Shoulders down and back. It's like as if I'm tapping my glutes to the wall behind me, that's that motion. Rack, here we go, three, two, rack it here, lunge, lunge, good, again. Swing, make sure the power bracket here comes from the hips, glutes versus the shoulders. And rest, awesome. Last one, Whew. amps up that heart rate. It's a power move, that's for sure. We're going four seconds, bracket here. And here we go, swing it. Three, two, you should not be arching the back. Bracket here, lunge, lunge, one more time. Three, swing it. Two, rack to the shoulders. Lunge, lunge, and rest. Nice job. Recover. One more set to get through, okay? Now that you're fatigued, we're gonna test out your balance. So, one weight. You're gonna pick one foot, doesn't matter, you'll do both. You're gonna come into your single leg, uh, deadlift, here we go, row, pass it, row. So you go quicker, you're passing the dumbbell side to side. If you prefer just to do regular rows in this, you can do that. You got two one side, two the other. Our last move is a side shuffle burpee. So we had three different burpee variations today. That's what we got. Okay, again, we're gonna do four in a row just because with balance and sticking to one side. Here we go. So find your balance. And then as I pass, I row, pass and row, pass and row. Now, if you're finding that you're having a hard time keeping those hips level, place that foot down behind you. A little hand-eye coordination too. Two, one, rest, stay on that side. We're gonna burn out that glute. <coughs> okay, prepare, second round, let's go. Pass and row, pass and row. You could just pass the dumbbell too, okay? I'm adding in that row here, why not? We always need that posture work. Again, that balance isn't happening. Place that back foot down. About five seconds, stay in it. Two, one, rest. Woo, just in time, foot sides. Other foot, slight bend that standing leg. Shoulders down and back. Belly button pulled to that spine. Here we go, pass and row. Now again, you might have to get used to this side. Creating some ankle stability here as well. Remember those headlights on your hips that are lighting up that floor beneath you. Not the side wall. Two. Whew. One more. And I finish with some cardio. Last burpees, I promise. And let's go to work. All right, start here. Get that foundation, that confidence. Lift that back foot. If you're taking the back foot lifted, could you flex to the foot, meaning the toes point down to the floor, like you're stamping your foot on that back wall. Whoo! Glutes are firing, hamstrings, two, one, rest. All right, depending on your space, side shuffle, step or hop back to burpee, 
or you can do a little hop over burpee. I almost just rolled my ankle. That's great. Okay, side shuffle, hands plant, hopper step back, hop in, hop up. Side shuffle, hands plant, hopper step back. Yes. Side shuffle, back, back, in, up. Five seconds. I'll stay lifted here. Rest. Okay. That's always an option to do your lunge back instead of your hop back to plank. All right, let's get to work. 20 seconds, here we go. Side shuffle, hands plant, hop back, hop in, hop up. Get low. Few steps one way, few steps the other. We're lunge, lunge, hop, rest. Okay, two more rounds. I need you to bring it. You showed up. Let's put that work in. How long are you working for? 20 seconds, go. Side shuffle. Quick, quick, quick. And if the side shuffle isn't available, you can do regular burpees too, okay? Up. If you don't have the space, hop over. Burpee. Rest. Woo! Okay. Final 20 seconds. Let's bring it. You're capable of hard. And let's go. Side shuffle. Plant, hop back, hop in. Up. Quick, quick, quick. Here's your 10 second mark. Come on. Let's put that effort in. Push yourself. Two, one, rest. Whew. All right, step tap. Inhale through the nose. How's that mouth? We're gonna come down to the mat. We're gonna play, finish with a plank hold, okay? <clears throat> Just gonna be a regular plank. I'm gonna give you the option to tap your knees alternating or both knees together, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so when you're ready, shoulders over the elbow, okay? We have a 60 second plank. Ready, let's work. Hold. Okay, if you prefer a hand plank, you can go there. You can add knee taps, alternating. You can do both together, or you can just focus on holding that plank. Now, a few more other things. Try not to round. Can you pull your shoulder blades down towards your back or towards your glutes? Hold, hold, hold. Right here, three, two, this is your halfway mark. Yeah, sorry, that count time probably was deceiving. Hang on, breathe, you're strong. 20 seconds to go. Think about this soundtrack, it's the soundtrack in your head, okay? I'll feel awesome after. I'll feel awesome after the workout is done. Hang on, final 10 seconds right here. Breathe. Think about how you're good, you're gonna feel. In three, two, one, rest. Hips back, arms forward, child's pose. Way to work. So instead of like dreading the workout, right? Or you feel like you're dragging when you're pressing that join button to join class. Tell yourself that soundtrack as many times as you need to. I'll feel awesome after. It's really powerful. Inhale through the nose, out to that mouth, and then take it over to the other side. Because what your brain focuses on, it's gonna find. So if you're like, this workout is gonna be hard, I'm not you know, cut out for this, whatever, whatever soundtrack you're using that's not serving you, give it something good to look for and the experience will be so much better. Bring it back to center, pull yourself into a tabletop position, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, exhale, round through that back, good, and your cat, do it again, inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, exhale, round, bring it back to a neutral spine, let's stretch out those hip flexors, bring one leg forward, Knee over the ankle. Let's stretch out our upper back. So sometimes I put my palms together and come forward. Other days you can just press the palms away from you, whatever serves you. Good. Twists are good for digestion. Okay, so we'll just take a little twist towards the bent knee. From here, just bring the hips back behind you, hamstring stretch. You can stay more lifted here. Good. 
And then from here, I would like to bend the knee first before I switch sides. So let's get the other side. This time I'm gonna do chest expansion. You work those chest presses. Inhale, exhale. So here's where you get to assess. How do I feel from when I first started class? Good, bring that hand to the outside. Take that twist towards the bent knee if you like to. Nice little spinal twist. Bring the hips back behind you, hamstring stretch. Good. One more breath. Bend into that front knee. This time, step your feet together. You can take a nice forward fold here. Just shake out your head, yes and no. Any tension that you hold in that neck, which we do very subconsciously throughout the day. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Two deep breaths together. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. One more, inhale, reach up. And exhale, release. 30 minutes of effort. I'm proud of you for showing up and putting that work in. Can't wait to do it with you next time. Enjoy your day. I'll see you next time.